Hey guys, it's me, Dina Diva 82 just coming to do um, a request video. I got this request uh, a while ago to do a collection video. Um, I can't remember the girl's name, but when I find it, I'm going to put it in the link. In, I'm going to put the name in the video. So I just did a really quick video of my little beauty corner of the room. Um, I'm going to do a full room tour when we move because we're moving in about a month and a half basically the beginning of February we're moving so well two months um and I'm not really sure where we're moving to if we move out of state um like we're planning on then I don't think we're going to get two bedrooms we're just going to get one so that's going to change the setup of everything but if we don't move and we stay in Virginia then we will have a two bedroom so I, I'm going to do a full room tour once we actually move and get everything set up but let me know if you guys like these type of videos, and I can go into more detail later on. But for right now, this is just my beauty corner where I do my hair, my nails, and my makeup. And my face right now is really natural, really clean, because I really didn't feel like doing a whole face full of makeup today. I didn't feel like doing my hair. So I took one of those scarves that um, you get from Walmart. I think I did. I had this in an outfit of the day where I had it wrapped around my neck. And it's just a really, really long scarf. Um, I tied it in a knot and I flung it to the side so that this part shows. And I just have it hanging over um, my shirt, which is a black shirt, see? But, and really big earrings because when you have no hair on or you have like a flat style, like say you have a real sleek back ponytail, you need really big jewelry because everything is too flat. But anyway, um, I hope you guys like, rate, subscribe, enjoy. Hi. Okay, so this is my setup of my little area where I do everything, my hair and my nails and all that good stuff. Um, I guess I'll start over here with my nail stuff. This is where I keep all of my nail polishes and I don't have them organized any kind of way when we move I'm gonna get one of those nail polish racks and organize it because I started out with a really small collection and it just keeps growing and growing and growing and I haven't taken any measures to grow with it I just keep getting these little bins so now I need some more basically some more storage but this is where I keep it um this box has a little bit of everything in it. Uh, my acrylics. Uh, let's see, all different kind of acrylics in here. Powders, liquids. I have, oops, shoot. I have some acrylic paints. Acrylic things in here, um, like powders, a little bowl, a quick dry, other paint colors. So there's a little bit of everything in here. And I ha it's a little messy because I haven't done my nails in a really long time. But this is the top of it and my little Best Buy tripod. Then in this top drawer, I keep like my implements. All of these are like nail tools, um, my brushes. I have a couple little glitters in this thing. This is my nail cutter, my little, um, what's this? My little electric file. I don't really use this that often. I have a lot of toothbrushes because I use that to really get in my crevices in my nails. So I keep those. And they're new. I've never brushed teeth with them or anything. Um, this one I have some more like different size glitters. This is it's gonna focus. This is a pretty big glitter where this one is a dust. So I've got those, some rhinestones, a couple of like nail designs. Oops. And this drawer, this drawer always sticks. This is where I keep a majority of my buffers, nail files, some extra press on nails that I have, um, exacto knife. But I did cut out some pictures once see what else. Then in this drawer, I have all the really big important stuff and it's stuck. Ah. So this one is where I keep all of my 
product, like all my prep things. This is where I prep, like I have my cuticle eliminator, my antiseptic spray, um, a nail polish thinner, that sort of thing. This is one of those little petty eggs. I didn't have any place for it, and I don't use it often, so I just threw it in here. Um, let's see. This is just like, I have an extra thing of Lime Be Gone that I haven't opened up yet. It's really good when you are doing your fills and you like buff it away. You go and you put this around the edge that you just finished buffing and it takes care of that line. And it works really good so you can't see when you're filling. Because you know sometimes when you fill your nails you can see where the nail grew. This takes care of that. So I really like this. Um, so I have an extra one of those. Um, then I have a bunch of different press on nails I mean not press on but nail tips like a blue one these were those nail forms that you fill with acrylic and then put on your nail I didn't really like them very much they're really popular in the UK I, I didn't really like them I'm, I haven't practiced a lot with them lately I might do it again to see because the videos all make it look really really good and really easy but it didn't work so good for me so I have those um this is just an empty box with some of those um, press-on-nail stickers. I just use this for a bunch of different things. Some lavender ones, a whole bunch of clear ones. These someone gave me. Um, they're like those kiss tips. And this is what I use when I do my practice design. So I've got that. Um, these are my actual nail tips that I use when I do my nails. I got these from my local uh, nail supply store not a beauty supply store an actual nail supply store that supplies to the nail salon so this is not from like Sally's or anything if you guys are looking for like real nail products just google or Yahoo um, local nail, nail supply stores because this is the real deal so this isn't something I got from Sally's um, and I had to buy each one of the nails individually like a pack of let's say index fingers came a pack of middle fingers came that sort of thing um some orange sticks i use these a lot well they're called birchwood sticks i got these from sally's i use these basically to push back my cuticles and i use them for the designs like when i'm doing my practice designs like see i just glue it on hold on can you focus you gonna focus I don't know if it's going to focus, but like I just glue it on to use that. Um, more nail files back there. I don't even know what's in that. That's just a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, there we go. Then, whoops, this drawer is all my hair stuff, my little berets, um, headband. I don't really wear a lot of headbands, so I only actually have one. I think I have another one in here somewhere that's like those goody ones where is it I think that's it I'm not even sure but I got both of my berets I have them inside each other um hair pins um I don't know what you call this it's like a bandana well it's like a headband but it's one of the stretchy ones extra bobby pins that sort of stuff um all my stocking caps that I keep in here a couple rollers a mini flat iron uh, my blow dryer and I keep a lot of my wig bags so these are extra ones so maybe I would have thrown the wigs away and I keep them because you never know when you're going to need one like I sometimes take them when I travel um extra pack of weaving hair which I haven't used in a long time this is a junk drawer it's actually really junky I don't even know what's in here light bulbs oh a lot of candles and tape my charger my emergency sewing kit, um, whenever I go out of town, I always take this little one because you never know. And then down here, ah, uh, all of my makeup bags, my traveling makeup bags or um, the ones I can put in my purse. These ones I've had, um, what do you call it, brushes come in. This one I take when I'm traveling. I really like this. I got this for from Ulta on sale for like two or three dollars it's one of those ones that folds out and you hang it up somewhere so you can put all kind of stuff in it so that's really good um this is another brush bag I had I don't know where I got that from my boyfriend one year gave me some brushes and they came in this little thing so that's a really good one when I travel I use that little wallet um 
I keep some of my purses here. I just have them piled up because, like I said, we're getting ready to move, so I really don't want to hang up a bunch of stuff right now. So I keep them there. Um, I have a wine glass, one of those ones from Macy's that has all the little designs on it. One year my boyfriend got it for me. I can't even remember what this one is. Oh, this one is the princess. I really like it. It's so cute. I, I think I'm going to do something with it, like put brushes or something in it. But, I don't know, can you guys see it? There it is. See, it just says princess on it. It's got little rings and stuff. Macy's has them. They have one up here that says, like, queen, and one that says peacock that I really like. And I, everybody knows I love peacock. Okay, guys, so here is my actual Ikea vanity. Um, I guess you guys can see me. Oh, don't mind that box in the background. But this is my actual um, vanity I got from Ikea. I actually really like it, but I need to get another one now. Because this one, you see like it's chipping here. And it's just not big enough anymore. So, um, I guess I'll start with what's on top. I keep my perfumes here. My little body splashes. I really don't have that many. Just because I don't. I don't really have a reason why. I need to build my collection up. A couple of watch boxes. Um, my Belova. And I don't even know who that is. That one. Um, then I have this brush holder. I got this one year on Black Friday. It came with some brushes that were horrible, but the case was nice, so I kept it. Um, see, the brushes are still in here. I don't even use them. I think I used them like once, and I realized they were crappy. But the case is nice, so sometimes um, if I'm traveling somewhere, I'll take those brushes out and put the brushes I really want in there. 